think it's really important to raise awareness of what stroke symptoms look like and how to recognize stroke if a family member has a stroke fast, which is face, arm, speech, and time, so F-A-S-T. Look for droopiness of the face, droopiness of the arm or weakness of the arm, trouble speaking, and time, which is of a sense in the acute stroke. So the sooner the symptoms are recognized and the patient makes it to the hospital, the better the chances of recovery. The most important thing is not to waste time, not try to put the patient in the car, but call 911. It's definitely a huge advantage of being in the Cleveland area because of our mobile stroke unit, which is an ambulance with special equipment to deal with acute stroke. It can be dispatched along with a regular ambulance. The mobile stroke unit has a telestroke unit on board, so a physician can evaluate the patient while being in the ambulance. We also have a CAT scanner in the ambulance, so quickly the brain can be evaluated. And the biggest advantage is that TPA, which is the clot buster medication that we use to treat acute stroke, can be immediately administered even in the ambulance. Usually when ischemic type of stroke occurs, there's some sort of blockage in a blood vessel of the brain that provides supply to a certain area of the brain. And if that blockage is not dealt with and not resolved, then that brain tissue will eventually have irreversible damage. The sooner that blood clot that's causing the blockage is dissolved, the better the chances of recovery. If there is evidence of large vessel blockage, then they may qualify for not only TPA, but uh, something called mechanical thrombectomy, which is an endovascular procedure. We use very small catheters that we advance through the groin vessels all the way up to the brain. We're able to pull out the blood clot with the help of the little catheters. It's important to note that while TPA has time restrictions, mechanical thrombectomy may be available for other stroke patients, even with extended windows based on advanced imaging. Based on the severity of the stroke symptoms and how efficacious the therapy or the treatment was for the stroke is going to determine how long the patient will have to stay in the hospital and how good the recovery is going to be.